Today's video is all about KPI cards and how you can create them with the HTML text style visual for Power BI. As you can see on the screen, there's a lot of different KPI cards and of course, they are all dynamic. So when I select a different country in the slicer, they all change. And you can see that for some of them, the background changes, for some, the, the border changes, the numbers, of course, are dynamic. Um, there's absolutely no limit. We have one which has a black background, a white dotted line. We have one which actually also shows the flag of the country. Then we have one which changes the background color depending on the result. So if it's positive, it's green, it's negative, it's red. It's the same for this visual, but not the background, but only the border. Um, there's absolutely no limit. The only limit is, well, our, our imagination, I would like to say, you know, because it's really up to the report builder of what you want to do. And with the HTML textile visual, it's actually possible. Because of that, and because we have endless opportunities, I can't show you everything that can be done, but I'm going to focus on one of these um, KPI cards which we have in the report, and then hopefully with that information, plus with the sample report, with this report that you can download, you can hopefully create your very own, your very personal custom KPI card. And of course, as always, if you don't manage to build the card you want, simply get in touch and I'm happy to help you out. But let's dig in. So I'm going to select this one KPI card. And as you can see, it's coming from a measure. It's coming from KPI card 8 measure. So let's see um, how this is defined. Basically on the top, I have created a couple of variables. I'm not going to talk about the variables now because I'm going to talk about them when they actually appear in the code. So we have variables and then we have the return statement, which means now we actually are done with um, defining variables. We want to start with our DAX code. And we start the code with a little bit of HTML. Basically, we start with the table statement, which means we want to create a table because yes, what you can see here is actually a table. It's a table with two columns and three rows, but more to that in a second. We also need to define some properties of the table. So we want to define the width, which is, should be 100%. We could also define it in pixels, but when we define it in percent, it's actually um, responsive. So when you resize the visual, everything resizes with it. Then we define the border style. This, he, we, this time we said we want to have a solid border, but we could simply change this to, let's say, dotted. And then you will see that now it is a dotted line. It's the same for the background color. This is a hex code, but you could also just say it should be gray. And then it changed to gray, but this gray is too dark. So let's have it light gray. So colors you can define in RGB, hex, or you just type in the name of the color, blue, green, red, um, gray, light gray, whatever you like. Now that we've defined the main properties of the table, of course, there could be more. You could define much more. Um, these are just some of the samples. Some of the other visuals have different definitions. So just find the one which you like most and reuse that one with them, your personal adjustments. Okay, now we have the TR statement, which means we have we define a row. So as you can see, we have this statement three times, meaning we have three rows in the visual. The first row is EBITDA Canada. The second row is 519. And the last row is minus 35 below budget. So basically we define row by row, column by column. So basically we define every single cell. The TD statement means we are defining a column now. So the first column should 
be 20% of the entire width and it should be blank. So let me just show you, I'll write in test and I confirm with enter. Now we have the word test in here. So this here is the cell on the very top left corner and it should be empty. So let's remove the test and move to the next column. The next column takes up 80% and it should contain the word EBITDA plus a variable coming from the top of the function. So let's see, var country is defined as selected value, countries, table, country, column. So basically just what the user has selected in the slicer. So it's, it says EBITDA, hard-coded, could also be dynamic, and the country which is selected. And that's correct. Currently we have selected Canada, so it says Canada. And you can also say, see that this text is bold. And the bold is actually coming from this B. B means bold. When I remove the B and press enter, you will see that this text will no longer be bold. But actually, I want it to be bold. So let's just add the B again and then jump to the next row. So TR defines the second row. The column on the left is again blank. When we write something in here, you see it appears in this blank cell. And then let's see how this 519 is defined. It's again, of course, 80%. All the columns, they need to have the same size. We define a span style. A span is like an HTML container, um, which just defines that I want to have that I can use when I want to have part of my text um, formatted diff differently from the rest. So I define a span container. So my span container should have font size 30. I can simply change it to 20, um, whatever you like. The font weight is bold. Um, this is actually exactly the same that what we used up here with this B. So there's different ways how to make something bold. And then what do we want to make bold? We want to make bold this variable EBITDA AC, which is defined up here. And it's actually just the sum of the actuals. This is our actual result. And we added also a format um, to define how this should be formatted. So we could add decimal places. So now we have 519.00. Then we have one more row and in this row actually also in the first column we have this little triangle indicating whether the result is positive or negative let's see how it's defined it's coming from this variable so variable ac budget symbol which says if the result from the variable on top from this one if this is positive so if the actuals minus the budget is positive, well, equal or bigger than um, zero, then again, use the span star because we want to format something and we want to format it green. And what do we want to format green? The little triangle pointing up. And if this, this is not true, meaning it's below budget, the result is less than zero then same thing but red and pointing down so this is where this arrow comes in and of course here we just use green or red but you could do it you could make it blue if you like um, or change the size or change underline or anything and then we also have one more thing it's this minus 35 below budget. So it's this part. It's taking this variable ACBU text and it's basically the same thing like before we first check is the result good or bad. If it's positive, meaning um, bigger than zero, we style something in green. And what do we style? The number minus 35 and the word 
above budget and if it's negative then we just um, have it in red and write the word below budget and that's just one simple example uh, if we just go back to the report you can see that there's many more elements that you can style basically every element that these cards are um, containing can be dynamically formatted okay great so now that i've walked you through this code i just want to point out one more interesting thing which is included in a different kpi visuals on visual on this page it is this visual just here which includes also the flag of the selected country so when i select a different country you see that also the flag in the visual changes and i just quickly want to show you how this was done so let's go to the measure and then you see here that I created this var country uh, flag variable. And actually what this is doing, it is going to a website called countriesoftheworld.com where all the flags of all the countries are, are available for download. And then we, I add the, the country from the var country variable. So this makes it dynamic and whenever the user selects a different country, the Reaper is actually loading the, 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 the flag image from the specific country from an online source. And of course also here, there's, there are properties in here. So um, right now there's only one property and it's only just the size of the image. So if I want, I can make it bigger. Let's change it to, to 80 pixels. And then you see that now the flag became bigger. That's just one other specific um, showcase. There is much more you can do. And I would be very happy if, you know, you create a KPI card, which is um, super cool. You're very happy with it. Please share it. I, I'd like to see and um, yeah as mentioned if there's any problems if you face any issues if you don't know how to write the correct tax code or the correct um, html code just just reach out and um, yeah i'm happy to help thank you very much for watching